We will start the exterior of the vehicle using a pressure washer. Uh, we want to remove all of the debris and loose dirt on the surface so that when we wash it, we do not scratch the vehicle. And we're not getting too close. We don't want to cause damage to any components, but we want to make sure we get under the fenders and all the crevices underneath the car so that it's a nice smooth surface to start with. Next, we're going to use soap and a car wash sponge, dipping in a bucket frequently and going over the vehicle, making sure we cover all areas. Once we've finished washing the vehicle with the car wash mitt and the soap from top to bottom and the surface is clean, we are now going to take a piece of clay, clear coat clay, and this will pull all imperfections in small particles that the sponge did not remove from the clear coat of the car. And we want to work in small areas, making sure we don't miss anywhere. And you move in a forward and back motion across the hood and go panel by panel, small sections at a time. Keep kneading the clay into a new ball so that there's no debris left on the surface to scratch the paint. So you always want a nice smooth surface there. And we can see all of those fine particles that were removed from the clear coat. Once the clear coat has been clayed and the vehicle has been fully rubbed down and washed, we're going to make sure we rinse it properly again with the pressure washer to get all of the soap out of every crevice and small place. Next, we're going to dry the vehicle using either compressed air or a small portable blower and a chamois. Get all of the water droplets out of the fuel door, the doors that open and close that shrunk the hood, all of the small lines so that we don't have any more water left on the surface. We need to get the surface ready for the compound and polish that we're going to use with our dual action buffer. In this step, we want to tape off all of the trim in areas where we do not want wax or polishing compound to get into. This will make for a cleaner looking vehicle after and you won't be having to pick the product out of any recessed areas. Here we're using a polishing compound that's very light, not an aggressive compound that will um, scratch the surface of the vehicle. And we're using a light pad and we're gonna work the product into the pad to get it started so that there's plenty of product on it. And then we're going to follow through with a little bit more product, which we're going to dab onto the vehicle when we start the polishing process. Now we're going to spread it around without any spinning action by tapping down in, in different locations. And once the product has been evenly dispersed onto the vehicle, we will start the buffer on a very low speed to spread the product around. Once we spread it around, we will then speed it up to a higher rotational speed and move slowly across the panel in multiple directions in order to polish and make the surface as smooth and as shiny as possible. After doing a few panels with the buffer pad, the pad will start to become contaminated and filled with a lot of polishing product. I like to take it off and dip it in some hot water and wring it out so that we can clean it out completely, dry it off, 
and then add more product and keep going for the rest of the car. It helps to have two or three pads around, or you can just use one, dry it out, put it on the buffer and spin it to shoot the water off. Um, then taking a dry towel to dab it off as well is another way to dry it fast. We will now be finishing with the rest of the vehicle, making sure that every panel is polished with the dual action buffer. Once we're done polishing, we will use a microfiber towel, a clean one, folded into quarters so that we can remove all of the polishing compound from the surface of the vehicle and get it ready for a sealer or a light coat of wax to finish off the job. And that'll be it. I hope you all found this video to be helpful. Best of luck polishing your vehicle's paint and making the car look brand new again. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and have a nice day. Thanks everybody.